Hey friends, I hope you're having a good day so far. Uh, today we're at our friend Cody's house. Uh, Cody has a unique challenge for us. We have to take levels out of the side of the um, his backyard, basically. It's one big curved hill, as you can see from this picture, and we're going to add two levels to it, create some flat spots within that hill. So we're going to be doing some excavation. And then on top of that, we have some of these rocks right here that need to be moved. And he's going to put in a dock and so forth. So here you can see that I'm using the front edge of that AV20F grapple, which I still have to do a review on. Um, should be coming soon, but really came in handy for this project. It has a rake feature on the front of it. And what I'm doing here is I'm actually pushing some soil down uh, to make the angle of this hill less steep. Man, this was a really steep angle, so we had to work with... Uh, some angles here and, and making sure that we carry the load low and being as safe as we possibly can. So the first objective is to remove these rocks and the grapple came in handy for this. There's only a couple small ones but then there's also a few big ones that we have. And uh, we're going to be using the box blade, we're going to be excavating with the bucket. So I hope you like some of the video and I'll explain kind of what we're doing along the way. And I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy it. get this uh, grapple here there was quite a bit of pucker factor with this uh, steep hill This is where we start excavating the lower level. Now this soil is really sandy. Uh, we're right next to a body of water and the soil is very loose and very easy to move. This is not the case for many soils. Um, a lot of times I have to use the tiller to break it up and it's just not easy to work with. So uh, fortunately this was very easy to, to move. Um, even for a small tractor like the 1025R, it was able to move this loose soil very easily. And so the objective is to basically cut out a side of the hill and then we're taking that soil and we're moving it towards the rocks. And the goal here, the first step is basically to create a um, surface that's fairly flat, um, mainly for safety because working on a side of a hill um, and carrying loads of dirt, uh, you know, creates for unsafe uh, conditions. So the main part here was to create a flat spot and then afterwards we level it with the box blade and uh, at the end we'll kind of fill it back in from the dirt that we take um, from removing that the soil from the, the top level which you'll see later on.
must say that I am thoroughly impressed with the amount of leveling that I'm able to do with the bucket alone. Back dragging and then also uh, curling the bucket all the way back and then putting it to the ground and then driving forward. Um, just those two functions were extremely able to get the job done with this type of soil. This spot right here is where his landing pad for his dock is going to go. It's going to extend over uh, those rocks a little ways. The water is quite low right now. Um, but anyway, that's the, that's the purpose of what I'm doing here. Trying to flatten it out and trying to compact it down as much as I can so that it will create a nice hard surface. Some of you may know that uh, we only work on evenings or on weekends. We do have regular day jobs. But on day two, we came back in the evening and uh, brought our box blade with us and did a lot of the finish work um, with this bottom layer. Now, in retrospect, I think we spent maybe a little bit more time doing the finish work on this than we needed. Um, at this stage in the project, we had misinterpreted uh, the objective. We didn't really need to spend as much time finishing it as we did. Um, I was really impressed at the how well it turned out at the end but i really enjoyed getting to use the box blade uh, in this manner it did a great job and i had a lot of fun using it As a side note, I can't express how enjoyable it is to be out here working with the tractor on such a beautiful evening with the sunset and just nice calm winds. It was so, so wonderful.
Well, we're now on day three. The objective for today is to remove the second layer or that second level. Now this requires us to remove about a foot of soil all the way across the lawn to create a flat surface. The objective here is to preserve as much of the existing lawn as we can and therefore we kind of have to go around on the edge of the lawn in order to take the earth from above and put it down below. And in order to do this, we basically created two big piles, one on each end of the lawn. And the process was dig, pile, dig, pile, and then scoop and spread, scoop and spread. So it was kind of a repetitive process of excavating, making a big pile of dirt, and then spreading it out on that first layer that we, uh, we had just removed. I want to also mention that yes, we called the diggers hotline. The homeowner took care of that before we even got on site. Uh, there was an electrical line running to a uh, outlet down below and uh, that was removed. It was shut off and then we cut it so that we wouldn't dig it up. The only other barrier that we had was we knew that there were sprinkler lines running through the lawn and the homeowner said, well, if you find them, you find them and if you don't, you don't. But we did locate two of them. The first one we were able to salvage. I was able to spot that fairly easy. And uh, the second one I located but didn't know it was there. And <laughs> therefore I ended up breaking the line. But the homeowner had extra line and it was uh, no big deal. They're fairly easy to uh, fix and replace. So um, all worked out with that.
Well, this just about wraps up our project. We weren't able to record everything, but we did get some before and after pictures that we'll show you here in a second. Um, again, we had a really, really nice evening to work, and uh, we made the homeowner very happy, and we were very happy with how well the project turned out. So hope you guys like it, and hope you guys would like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.